But this was a, a popular feature in, the, in TV's earliest days. Cigarette makers were sponsors of some of the biggest shows on TV. In fact, until the mid-60s, sponsors had more power over determining what was going to be on TV than the networks did. Now, Old Gold is a product of P. Lorillard, headquartered in Greensboro, North Carolina. Their dancing cigarette pack was one of TV's first sensations in the late 1940s and early 50s. This oversized cigarette pack with the lovely legs dancing aimlessly around in front of a curtain while an announcer promised a taste made by tobacco men, not by medicine men. Because if you're going to ingest something into your lungs, better it was sanctioned by a North Carolina dirt scratcher than some highfalutin doctor. Now, Jean Snow, she was one of the dancing old gold cigarette uh, packs. She said, my dancing career is so long behind me, but the old gold commercial keeps coming up in current TV. I was one of the cigarette packs with Gloria Vestoff, who probably replaced Dixie Dunbar, on Stop the Music with Burt Parks in 1950 and 1951. Harry Salter was a conductor, Jimmy Nygren the choreographer. Incidentally, she said, we were never called the Dancing Butts. Yes, old gold. The cigarette with nearly 200 years of tobacco know-how behind it. Made by tobacco men, not medicine men. Smoother, milder, tastier, old gold cigarette. Old gold. The cigarette that treats you better in every way. Because in every way, it's a better cigarette. Well, it's like I keep saying all the time. If you want a treat instead of a treatment, get a pack or a carton of old gold cigarettes. You'll love them as much as I do. <laughs> 